Hello, uh, my name is Laura Brogdon. I'm the Young People's Development Manager and welcome to St Helens Chamber's first ever virtual open day. I'm just going to introduce you to the team who will be speaking to you today about our provision and then we will tell you a little bit more about the programmes we've got on offer. So today we have John Westhead, who is our Director of Training Services. You have myself, who's a Young People's Development Manager. We have Neil Rigby, who is our Young People's Development Team Leader and he looks after the Construction Centre and the hairdressing. We have Lynn Borrowdale, who is our hairdressing training advisor, and we have Rebecca Hitchin, who is our Liverpool career coach. So first of all, I'd like to introduce you to John, our director of training services. John, you're on mute. Morning, everybody. Welcome to, as Laura said, our very first virtual open day. Um, I hope you get a sense of the vast array of different options we've got available to you at the Chamber. We cover apprenticeships, programmes for young people and programmes for adults as well. We've got a really set of high quality teams available to support every aspect of your career and we've got some really fantastic facilities that you get a sense of today um, and able to offer you the opportunity to succeed. The main thing is that every person at the Chamber is really passionate and really driven to give you the best opportunity to help and support you progress. There's loads of different things we can do for you and the team are absolutely fantastic at what we do. There should be something available for every single person. If there isn't, let us know and we can look at creating it. It's important that you take ownership of your own learning journey and ask us what we can do for you. Thanks, John. So first and foremost, I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview of what an apprenticeship is. An apprenticeship is a really good way of giving you the opportunity to earn while you'll learn. And you also work towards gaining a nationally recognised qualification and you can gain this in between 12 to 18 months. You can begin your apprenticeship journey at level two or even at level three um, for most of the young people that will be coming through us today as well. And what we'll be doing when we first meet you is having a look at what type of apprenticeship level is right for you. So the apprenticeship will provide you with job specific skills and a qualification and a really good thing about an apprenticeship is you leave with no student debt and you also get your foot in the door a little bit earlier as well which is a great opportunity for you. So as a Chamber of Commerce, we're in a very unique position that we work with over a thousand businesses across the Liverpool city region. We're a membership organisation, which really means we work with our businesses to kind of find out what's going on in the Liverpool area, including recruitment needs, business, what businesses are looking for when it comes to recruiting a young person as well. And we're just going to cover today some of our programmes. So our study programmes, Fast Track to Apprenticeships, our New Futures programme and our Graduate Hub as well. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk to you about our study programme. Our study programme is a full time course for 16 to 18 year olds. And the idea of this programme is to give you highly sought out qualifications in a relevant sector of your choice. One of the good things about our study programmes is that you will get an industry specialist work placement along to, alongside your study. We will also take you on an international trip to Stuttgart next year to give you a chance to present yourself in a business manner, to be, meet some businesses over there and to work as an ambassador of the chamber. We also are aware that a lot of the vacancies that are linked to the study programme are in areas that might be a little bit more difficult to get to and as a result of that you will receive temporary driving lessons when you come on our programme as well. So we offer study programmes in three vocational areas. The first one that we do is international trade and logistics. One of the reasons that we have devised this programme is we are aware of a need for young people to come into this sector with everything that is going on now, now in Liverpool near Peel Ports and the shipping and documentation needed to move things here internationally and abroad. We are really needing a new, a new lot of talent to go into that industry. The second one that we're looking at, we're running again this year is our digital marketing qualification as well. That is run from our centre over in Clickworks on Hardshaw Street, and that is a purpose built digital centre. We're very fortunate that we have that digital centre as part of our chamber offer. We have digital printers there, we have um, virtual reality stuff for you to be able to use. And most importantly, we have digital marketing specialists that will teach you the skills to be able to work in a digital marketing role. So the type of things you might cover on that would be search engine optimization, and um, things like how do you promote businesses on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, how do you build websites? How do you collaborate online as well? And it'll give you a really good insight on how to start your digital marketing career. One of the ones that we're excited to launch this year is accountancy, and this is new for 2020. The programme that you will be studying will be an introduction into bookkeeping and accountancy, and your work experience will be really beneficial alongside this because it will be teaching you on how is how our accounts run within a business, you know, how are, fin how are the financials ha handled within organisations as well. 
as a result of you studying at the study programs we would look at the end of that program which is nine to ten months depending on how on your individual journey we would be looking at trying to move you into a level three advanced apprenticeship for you as well and we will help you find those apprenticeship opportunities while you're studying with us Okay, so the next problem I would like to speak to you about is our Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme. We've been running Fast Track to Apprenticeships now for a number of years and we are very successful at this. Our progression rates from this programme into apprenticeships is 85% and that is something that we are very proud of. Um, we are in a very fortunate position that we have access to exclusive vacancies that only at St Helens Chamber know about. So if you're 16 to 24 and you feel that you maybe need a little bit more help applying for apprenticeships, updating your CV, improving your interview skills and gaining some relevant work experience and this program is definitely for you. One of the benefits of attending our Fast Track to Apprenticeship program is that you get ex exclusive access to our chamber vacancies. So what we do is we make sure our vacancies are set aside for young people that come through our programs. The reason we do this is we want to match you to the right employer and make sure your apprenticeship journey is enjoyable and that you sustain in that employment. Another reason that we do this as well is that we want to make sure that there's less competition for you for each vacancy that you apply for. So when you apply on other websites, you might find that you might be up against 20 to 30 candidates. The beauty of this is you won't be up against as many candidates. So your chance of moving into an apprenticeship is heightened. One of the good things about having a work placement with a local employer is one, it gives you a chance to see whether the career you're thinking of choosing is right for you. If it's not, we can work with you again to make sure the career that you're going into really matches your expectations. But most importantly, is one of the things that our employers feed back to us is what they're looking for when it comes to recruit an apprentice. Do they have relevant experience in a work experience placement to be able to hit the ground running in that job role? So your work experience really really gives you that opportunity to try the job whether it's right for you but most importantly have that to add to your cv and we also as well in a very fortunate position that a large proportion of our work experience opportunities that we offer eventually turn into apprenticeships for our young people as well so it's a really great opportunity to kind of as we like to call it try before you buy to see whether the company is right for you if you haven't got your maths and English grade four or C, please don't worry. We will work with you to achieve your maths and English qualifications and ensure that you work towards a level two in functional skills, as we know this is important to young people and our employers as well. But don't worry if you're sat there thinking you might not get the grades you want or you don't have the grades you want, we will definitely work with you. But the most important pro part of our programme is to help you progress onto a valuable apprenticeship and get your foot in the door to start your career. So there's some financial support available for young people and this is dependent on individual circumstances and this is something when you enroll on our courses we will talk to you about. So if you, you may be eligible to up to £25 a week learning allowance, we may be able to give you some free meals. We also have access to a laptop so if we do find we have to do a, a bit of our learning remote over the next couple of months we will be able to provide our young people with a laptop if needed. All young people will receive a travel pass when they come to us as well to help you get here to your work placement, to all the types of things that you need to get to. If you need support for interview clothes, and that is something we can definitely help you with. Once you've been on programme for six weeks, we will also give you £50 worth of blood to shop vouchers to reward you for, for being on programme and, and studying hard. And once you complete or progress into an apprenticeship job or training, we will give you another £100 worth of vouchers to say well done as well. So I'd just like to talk you through some of our different campuses that we have and where you might attend your training. So our main office is our St Helens campus and we are based in the Chamber's main building and we're near the World of Glass. We're very much near every transport link that you can think of. Five minutes walk away from the train station, the bus station. It's, it's an easy walk for most people within the, within the St Helens area as well. We've been very fortunate that we have just updated all our IT training equipment in this in in this office as well so when you come in here today today you would be using top of the art state of the art equipment as well i would like to say that we are a professional and calm training environment with on-site cafe as well that you are free to use and one of the good things that make us a little bit more unique is that you have an opportunity to mix with business professionals on site as we are a chamber of commerce we have a lot of organizations coming in a lot of businesses coming in using our facilities and one of the good things about that is that gives you a chance to promote yourself amongst industry professionals and to develop the communi communication skills that are needed to survive and work. 
All our learners will also have access to our digital centre clickworks, which I discussed before, and you'll be able to undertake additional digital training as part of your time with us as well. So I'm going to pass over to Rebecca and she can tell you a bit about our Liverpool campus. Hi, um, I'm Rebecca. I'm the Liverpool Career Coach. Um, so everything that Laura's already explained, we offer in Liverpool City Centre as well. Um, so some of you may be coming to us through Apprenticeship to Liverpool. So don't be worried about all this talk about St Helens. You don't have to travel to St Helens. Um, we are spread across the Liverpool City region and we're based in MYA on Hanover Street. If anyone's familiar with Hanover Street, it's got Central Station on it. Um, so yeah, we are right in the heart of the city centre. We offer all the same um, programmes, so the Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme, study programmes, the Graduate Hub, um, and we also have all the same close links to local employers. Um, so we have plenty of apprenticeships within Liverpool and we can help you kickstart your dream career, um, much as the same as St Helens. So please don't panic if you think you need to travel to St Helens, we do offer this in Liverpool too. Hi all, as Laura mentioned at the beginning, uh, my name's Neil and I'm the lead over at the Multi-Skilled Training Centre. I've got two of our training uh, tutors along with me today to answer any questions at the end if, if you have any. Um, so if anybody's interested in manufacturing, construction or warehousing, then we've got an excellent programme for you, which is, the, um, which is delivered at our Multi-Skilled Training Centre in Parsons Hellens, easily ac uh, accessible by public transport. The benefits to you coming onto our programme is that you can complete manufacturing and warehousing activities. Now, we can't get away from the fact that the North West is the UK hub for warehousing and manufacturing businesses, and there's plenty of career opportunities in that sector at the moment. You'll also get a level one certificate in, in construction, a level one health and safety qualification, and the chance to sit and achieve your CSCS card, which is mandatory for construction site entry, but, and it's also useful for warehousing and manufacturing as well. After six weeks of statements on our programme, you'll also receive a free, uh, free toolkit, what's worth over £50. And I'll support you all the way through in terms of applying for our um, hands-on apprenticeship vacancies. So a bit of a breakdown of our programme. Like most, it's 12 weeks. And over the 12 weeks, the first six weeks is going to be based in-house and covering the following topics. You'll be doing joinery, plastering, painting and decorating, tiling and brick laying as part of construction. As part of warehousing, you'll be doing picking, packing, sortation and dispatch, as well as manufacturing. And the last six weeks is on work placement where you can put all your skills into practice within a local company. Hi guys, I'm Lynn. Um, I'm based over at the hairdressing salon, which we've got a purpose-built salon that we had made for us, which is above Clickworks on Hardshaw Street, right in the middle of the town centre. Um, what you will gain on your 12-week programme with us is a level one qualification in hair and beauty, which gives you everything that you need to start you off before your apprenticeship. So it prepares you, gets you ready for working in that salon environment. We provide you with a professional tunic after you've been with us for two weeks on programme. Um, we also provide you with, after six weeks, a nice hairdressing starter kit that's worth £50 so that you can start to put into practice at home some of the skills that you're learning with us in the salon. After um, you've been on programme with us for six weeks, you go on work experience, which is either going to be in a hairdressing salon or anywhere within the local sort of beauty industry. Um, at the end of the program, there's a full hairdressing kit, which is worth £100. That's on completion of the program or when we sign you up to your apprenticeship with us. OK, so I just want to talk you through our new futures program. So there might be so many young people sat here to get today thinking, I need a little bit more help developing my confidence, developing some of my personal skills before I can go on to the fast track to apprenticeship programme. And that's absolutely fine. We've developed a programme called New Futures, which is really about developing your softer skills, such as confidence, self-esteem and communication skills. And it's a really good stepping stone to start to help you start on the fast track to apprenticeship programme. So the, the thing I would like to say really is no matter where you're starting from today, there is a programme that can support you on, on your journey with us. 
Okay, so I'd just like to talk us through our graduate hub. If you've recently graduated and are looking for help with your next step to employment, we can really help you with that. Um, you know, we're aware at the moment that a lot of graduates are struggling to find employment and maybe need a little bit of support to identify what jobs are out there and to really build their CV that stands out, develop their interview skills and build up some of the skills that employers are looking for. So our graduate hub is run from our Liverpool office and our St Helens office. And we're in a really fortunate position that we have secured some funding which means you can start employment with a local employer for six months and be paid for that and one of the things that we would be doing if you sign up on the graduate hub is contacting employers on your behalf to see whether they have a position to take you on for that six month placement as well so you know we really want to work with graduates as well and see what we can do to support you on your journey Okay, so there's a couple of, we deliver apprenticeships in a wide range of areas, um, and here is some of our list, but don't worry if you can't read them all. I'll read a couple out, but then we will send you the full list after today. So we do business administration, we do childcare, health and social care, as we've discussed, hairdressing, manufacturing, construction, international trade and logistics, um, you know, marketing, sales. So we really do a wide range of apprenticeships. And also as well, if the one that you're looking for today isn't on that list, please do get in touch because we haven't included all the ones that we, that we currently do at the moment. Okay, so I'd like to just say is ambition is the first step to success. We want to encourage all our students to achieve their potential and we really are here for, for you for your career journey. You know, we, we would like to take young people through, help them develop the skills that they need and really push them to, it, to, to achieve the best that they possibly can as well. So we've got a couple of case studies and we've got a lot of young people that have come through our doors and have made great successes of their career. Um, Alex McGrath is one that won Apprentice of the Year last year and he came through our Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme, a little bit unsure about the type of career that he wanted to go for um, and spent a bit of time with our career coaches, sort of honing down what skills he has, what type of things he was interested in before he decided on his chosen career. He put down his success to moving into an apprenticeship down to the CV that we helped him with, the interview skills and the confidence that we helped him build to kind of go forward for, our, for his career as well. And Alex is doing very well in his apprenticeship still. Okay, so I'd just like to open it out to any questions. So Rachel, are you okay to read any questions that we've had through, please? Yes, so uh, the first one is from Tracy on Facebook, who was wondering if we had any apprenticeships that would be suitable for someone wanting to go into the travel industry. Um, yes, it would probably be more of a customer service apprenticeship that we, that we would start off with, with that individual. So what we would do is have a look at the skills that were needed, what type of travel industry were they interested in, um, and kind of see whether the apprenticeship we have would suit that individual. If we don't, even if they come on the programme, one of the things that we can do is help them identify apprenticeships from other organisations as well. Because the beauty with the Fast Track to Apprenticeship programme is you don't have to do your work experience in a sector that we do apprenticeships in. You can do it in another sector and then what we can do is contact another you know another organization or have a look at other options for that young person to progress into an apprenticeship as well okay thank you the second one is um around coronavirus um so uh that's what are you doing around social distancing during um coronavirus um i'll take that one rachel thank you um we've got lots of stuff in place obviously it's a strange situation at the minute which everybody's facing but we've got a really comprehensive risk assessment that we spent a long time putting together to make sure that the environment is as safe as possible for anybody that's going to be accessing our services so full risk assessment in place we've got full social distancing measures in place we've got maximum occupancy in the classrooms all based on the two meter social distancing there's regular deep cleaning taking place of all of our facilities and all of our training rooms uh, we've got lots of hand sanitizer, the wall sanitizers, sanitizers spread out across the chamber and everything's getting, as I say, wiped down, cleaned deeply every single day to make sure that it's a safe environment. All of the staff are available to support you in that. We'll show you the way around the centres. We'll show you exactly where you can access, where you can't access and, and how that would work. So it's a fully safe environment for people to be accessing at the moment. Thank you. Um, we've just had a question through from Sean on Facebook. Um, who's wondering about um, engineering apprenticeships and more hands-on apprenticeships, like what we've got available for that. Neil, do you want to take that one? 
Hi, Sean. Thanks for your question. Yeah, in terms of the engineering apprenticeships, we've not got vacancies for that at the moment through us, but what we can do, as Laura mentioned, is support you to apply for external vacancies. That's what we can do. However, from our programme, you'll definitely get the skills required to progress in to the engineering trade, um, even for warehousing, manufacturing, construction, they're all transferable skills. We'll make sure that your CV is adaptable towards the engineering trade as well, and we'll prepare you for an interview so that when you do get a vacancy that you can apply for in engineering, we'll prep you for the interview for that so that you succeed. Perfect. I'd just like to add as well, Sean, we do we make sure that you get your CSES card as well, which is vitally important for when you go into the engineering environment. It is something that all employers will be looking for. So it's definitely worthwhile. You're looking at investing in some training and getting that CSES test as soon as possible as well. OK, thank you. The last question I can see at the minute is how long uh, do apprenticeships normally last? OK, I'll take that one. So they can last from anything from 12 months to two years, depending on the level that you're going into and the sector that you're going into. Um, also, depending if you've got any prior knowledge beforehand. So if you're going into a childcare vacancy and you've already done a level two, it might not take you as long to complete the level three. Um, you know, if you've worked in the industry for some time and you're now wanting to get the qualification as well. Um, so anything between 12 months to two years. But one of the things that we're quite fortunate about is a lot is a high proportion of our employers aren't just going to take you on for the duration of the apprenticeship they sign a commitment to take you on longer term and to invest in you as well so please don't worry if you're thinking at the end of the 12 months or two years where are you going to be what's going to happen we do have a high proportion of our learners that continue to be employed with their employers after their apprenticeship as well okay thank you that's all the questions that have come through but if anyone else does have any more questions um you can just inbox them to the page and we'll get back to you OK, well, thank you very much, everyone, for listening today. I hope you've all found it useful. If I can please ask everyone to, if you're interested in taking your application further, to email us or to contact us on the email address here or to send us an inbox on our Facebook page with your contact details, please. And um, we will be in contact with you on Monday to give you a call to discuss what you, where, where you would like to go next. But thank you very much and we hope to see you with us soon.